Thank you for watching On Call for All Kids. Today we're talking about heart murmurs in children. We'll discuss what heart murmurs are and how we should think of them, how heart murmurs are detected, and the difference between an innocent heart murmur and one that should be further evaluated. I am joined by Dr. Ashish Shah. He is a pediatric cardiologist at Johns Hopkins All Children's Hospital. Great having you back, Dr. Shaw. Thank you, Ashley. It's a pleasure to talk to you again today. Now, what is a heart murmur? You know, it's, a, it's a great question, and, and many pediatricians as well as cardiologists face this question frequently from families. Uh, what I try to do is take it down for families and re make them realize that a heart murmur is just a sound. It doesn't necessarily mean that anything is bad. It's just a term that we use when we can hear blood flowing through the heart. And I remember when my son was first born, he was my first baby, he had one too. So it can be very scary, but how do you describe this to parents so they better understand what that means? Right, yeah. I, I like to sort of give an analogy to them. Like I, I always tell families like, look, when it's a normal heart murmur, what we're trying to say is, it's kind of similar to water going through pipes at home. It's a sound that you hear every day. Someone may have taken a shower, flushed the toilet, whatever it may be. It's a completely normal sound. So if I walked into your house and put my stethoscope on the wall, I'd say, hey, your house has a murmur. And you look at me like kind of crazy, like Dr. Shah, that's a normal sound. We've lived here for a while. It's like, I know. But because I hear water going through the pipes with a stethoscope, I have to give it a name. And the name is a murmur. Similarly, when I hear blood flowing through your child's heart and it's completely normal, I'll still call it a normal or innocent murmur. So normal murmurs, this is okay, they're innocent. What does that mean? Uh, it means that there's nothing wrong with your child's heart at all. These are normal sounds that we can hear. There are four different types of normal murmurs that occur throughout childhood. And so as a cardiologist, we're able to identify them just by listening with our stethoscope. And if we're concerned, we do do further testing. How is this detected? How, how do we maybe hear this murmur as they're growing up? Yeah, so murmurs are heard when you go to your regular doctor appointments for your well visits, or sometimes even for sick visits. When your doctor listens to your, the child's heart, they're gonna hear the blood flowing through the heart. And if it's easily heard, they call it a murmur. And it can be, like I said before, it can be completely normal or it can be abnormal. And there are instances where heart murmurs are easily heard. And so what I tell families is like, think about your car engine. You know, your car engine gets louder when you hit the accelerator and try to race up onto the highway. And that's a completely normal sound, but your heart is just like your body's engine. And so there are times when it's easier to hear the engine working. So if your heart's pumping harder, for example, during an infection, maybe you're recovering from surgery, maybe your child even ran around the room and then sat on the table and got examined. And just that little bit of exercise made the heart work a little harder. Is there a point in time when there does need to be further evaluation and how do we know when that is? Yeah, that's a great question too. You know, when your pediatrician sort of tells you that, look, this murmur has been the same or has changed in quality, or maybe you have cardiac symptoms, chest pain, dizziness, fainting, palpitations. Sometimes then the murmur might need a little more evaluation than expected. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Shaw, for joining us, especially during American Heart Month. We really appreciate all this information. Thank you for having me, Ashley, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget, you can also visit our website. It's hopkinsallchildrens.org slash newsroom. There you'll find a lot of great resources for your family and other patient stories for you to check out as well. We'll see you next time.